All right, back for another beer review, and today I will be reviewing a beer from the Boulevard Brewing Company, and they are out of Kansas City, Missouri, and this is their Plaid Habit, the 2018 vintage, and this is a part of their Smokestack series. So they are calling this an Imperial Brown Ale that is aged in Canadian whiskey barrels for 18 months, comes in at 13.9% alcohol by volume, nine IBUs in the time of review. This a bottle is just under nine months old. And I want to give a huge thanks and shout out to a good friend of mine and viewer of the channel, Jeff, aka No Jinx, for hooking me up with this one. So thank you very much, sir. In the description box, I'll post a link to the beer mail unboxing video I did that contains all of the beers that Jeff sent my way, this one included. So yeah, I've been really interested in this one. We do get Boulevard in the Western New York area, but beers like this, they just don't show up. Um, you know, we get like their barrel-aged quad and their barrel-aged... Uh, uh, whiskey uh, stout, but a lot of these special releases we do not see. So I'm really pumped up for this one. Um, not a whole lot of information I found other than I believe it's 18 months in Canadian whiskey barrels. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Now, brown ales aren't my favorite, but if you're going to give me a brown ale, pure brown ale is where it's at, at least for me. Anyway, let's crack it open, give it a pour, see what we got going on. So um, yeah, it's, it's funny because uh, I thought when we started getting Boulevard, we get everything from them and we have only gotten drips and draps, so very disappointed. Hopefully they step up their distribution. So I'm uh, going to give this oh, it's quite aggressive pour because it doesn't look like it's super carbonated. Um, decent amount of carbonation, but not as much as I thought. So that pours out a really deep mahogany almost. Yeah, that's awesome. Like a mahogany, um, I want to say like copperish color. Uh, it definitely has big red vibes to it. Um yeah, in the middle of the glass, it's more dark and like brown ale-esque, but on the sides, more mahogany. Had about a half finger of this light tan head that is now dissipated to a thin film and looked relatively creamy, but don't think this is really super carbonated or anything. So anyway, let's get a nose on it. Wow, so that whiskey is very, very in your face. Tons of sweetness here. I'm getting uh, sweet dark cherries. I'm getting... Uh, vanilla vibes, uh, big just barrel presence from the Canadian whiskey, caramel toffee, what you want from an Imperial Brown Ale, or what I want from Imperial Brown Ale, caramelized sugars, molasses. Yeah, tons of sweetness. Wow, this seems like it's going to be super sweet. At 13.9%, I kind of expect it. At the same time, I didn't think it was going to smell this sweet. Yeah, that cherry note is really not that. It's like a very sweet, dark cherry. Really nice. I really... It's like vanillas, cherries, and then basically caramelized sugar. That's pretty much what I'm getting. Maybe a slight nuttiness. Yeah, it smells boozy, but not overly so. Certainly not close to 14%. Smells like it's going to be pretty sweet, though. So let's get into it. Cheers, everybody, and thanks again. Jeff, by the way, this has been on the fridge for over an hour, so we should be good. Pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I don't know if this was that boozy to begin with, but this, I mean, get a little bit of alcohol vapors in the nose, a little bit on the palate, a little bit in the chest, but I couldn't tell you this is 14%. I'd guess 11, 10, 11. This is really, this is deceptively smooth too. There is really no lingering, like any kind of burn or astringency or anything. That's, this is scary. Lots of that sweetness that I was talking about on the um, on the nose. I'm getting way more caramel, toffee, and vanilla on the palate. A little bit of that sweet dark cherry, but the barrel presence is actually quite subdued and muted, uh, which is kind of weird because I wasn't. I was thinking like you know this is just gonna be a big boozy barrel uh, kind of beer because the nose was kind of screaming that, but in the taste it's it almost tastes like it would, certainly doesn't taste like it was in barrels for 18 months. Let's just say that. Body is a bit thin. I put this lower side of full body at 13.9%. That's definitely thin. It is soft and smooth, not really creamy. Soft and smooth it seems to be a little bit undercarbonated. As you can see, it really had no head retention. And on top of that, it's just, you know, it's just uh, on the palate. It's really soft and smooth, not a lot of carbonation. I don't know if it's lost some already in nine months or if it was undercarb to begin with. But the best thing for me about this beer is that at 13.9%, it's hiding the alcohol relatively well. 
Um, I do like that the barrel's not over the top, but I do wish that it was a little bit more prevalent and in my face when I'm drinking the beer. Uh, this one has a dry finish, not overly sweet. It has a nice balance between the, uh, the dryness and the sweetness, so it has a, a pretty damn good balance, actually. I'm actually surprised by that. Here's the thing, 13.9%, doesn't drink like it. It's scary from that aspect, super easy to drink. It just doesn't have a ton of complexity. It has caramelized sugars, vanilla, that sweet dark cherry, and a little bit of like oak tannin thing going on. And that's pretty much it. Um, I like this beer, but it's nothing that is kind of blowing me away at this point. Again, I, ha I didn't have this one fresh, so I don't know how it was fresh, but it has definitely seemed like it mellowed out a bit in the last nine months because it, I, I can't imagine fresh, this is what it tasted like. Uh, because it just it doesn't have a lot of oomph. There's not a lot of intensity to the flavors. It's just kind of subdued and muted. I do like the flavors. I just don't love the flavors, if that makes any sense. Um, anyway, rating on the Plaid Habit, the 2018 vintage part of their Smokestack series from Boulevard. I'm going to go high 4 out of 5. I'm going to go 4.1 out of 5. Um, it's pretty good. I, to get into the 4.25, 4.5 range for me, I just want more intensity of flavors. I just want more going on. I want that barrel to actually be quite noticeable. It's just, you know, there slightly. Um, I just want more complexity overall. More complexity and more intensity, and this would get a better score. I do like the flavors. I just think it's very... It's, I never thought I would be reviewing this beer at 13.9% and be like, oh man, the, the flavors are totally muted and I'm not getting any barrel, whatever. Totally the case, and I can't taste the 13.9%, which makes it even crazier. So, uh, appreciate Jeff sending this one to me. It was really cool to try. Jeff, let me know what you paid for this one. I'd imagine this was probably in like the $5 range. I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know why I even guess when I don't know the price. Oh, it's $5.29. I don't know. Jeff, you let me know what you paid for it. I was just going off of what, kind of what Boulevard sells here, and this is kind of specially released. So I'd imagine in the $5 range, we'll see what Jeff says. Availability, clearly not wherever Boulevard distributes, probably certain areas. I did not see this in my neck of the woods. I know Sadiq, uh, who is in uh, Georgia, another uh, friend of mine and a viewer of the channel, I know he got it in his area. I'm pretty sure Jeff got it in his. Um, I didn't get it in mine. So not everywhere Boulevard distributes, but certainly some of their distribution areas. So anyway, that was 4.1 out of 5 for Plaid Habit from Boulevard. Let me know what you guys thought about it. If you've had this one, I, I, you know, I'm i curious to hear what everyone thinks about this one because um, I didn't have it fresh and I imagine fresh it was, a, it was a bit better. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, thanks again, Jeff. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review. Till the next one. Cheers.